What's going on YouTube? Back for another episode of Bobby Hills Outdoors. Today, we're gonna get back on some low rider stuff. Got a little S10, purchased, used it in and out of town, running errands, good on gas, but it's a little 2001 single cab short bed S10, four cylinder automatic, and I've been driving it, couldn't stand it, so I had to put some knockoffs on it. Put some little black 13 by seven. I'm gonna lower the back a little bit. Need some headlights and a grill on the front bumper, so we're gonna put all that on today. So here is the uh, video of the truck. I didn't get much footage because I forgot my camera when I went and got the uh, tires mounted this morning. So here's a little footage. There it is. I'll show you a little footage of it after. We got the wheels and tires on. Like I said, I'm gonna get it in the shop. Put the uh, three inch lower blocks in the back. Put the front bumper and the grill and the new headlights on. Got a little third uh, brake light I'm put on. Just kind of clean it up. Truck really needs a paint job. It's got a little cheap, uh, looks like a Mako paint job on it, but we'll get we'll get to that later. Right now it's just a daily. Get us back and forth uh, to town. So, hope y'all enjoy this video. Stay tuned, here we go. Still waiting on the chips to come in. All right, back in the shop. Got the S10 pulled in. Got it up on jack stands here. My, my screen keeps fogging. I got I had this camera in the off stage. He's on. So anyways, I'm still, like I said, I'm still waiting on my chips. I can't stand riding on these knockoffs. They're China Lace. They're cheaper wheels, but, you know, for, uh, for an everyday driver, that'd be all right. We're going to clean that frame up. It's kind of rusty. Clean it up. Get it painted. Right now, we're going to get the three-inch lower blocks. Get that the ass in down a little bit anyways we'll come back to you and show you the parts i bought so here's the par parts i bought it's uh it's just a u-bolt kit got to make sure you get the round ones for the uh mini trucks for the little s10 and then we got a old school three inch lowering block here and i just went down to o'reilly spot these uh they're, they're a little bit more expensive there's the lowering blocks they come with shims nowadays i used to be able to get them angled so i guess i just give you shims now but uh anyway blocks I think three inches is gonna be good get the truck down just right uh, like I said you should be able to get this whole kit for like 25 30 bucks from the store and they come together now you're gonna pay like 49 for the blocks and like 29 for the u-bolts but we'll get to it got the drive blocks in three inches lower see it's all rusty right up in here I'm gonna scuff that down with some scotch bright wheel on the drill Put some semi gloss black on it. There's the blocks right there. Got those on. Trim the bottoms off. Good to go. Old school mini trucker stuff, you know, the auto parts store drop kit. It's good to go. I don't think I'm having a problem with the bump stop. Like I said, I took them off right there, the rubber ones. So um, hopefully, a little S10 will be sitting on the ground, right? Yeah, we got to clean that frame off. It looks bad. So we'll get that. And uh, get these wheels back on, of 13 by sevens. And I don't know what I'm gonna do with the front. Might try to put a little, raise this side up just a little bit because it's sagging a little bit. We'll see when we get the kit on there. And then uh, get all that cleaned up. We'll turn it around, get the nose faced in here and uh, start getting the new grill headlights, bumper and all that stuff on. Y'all stay tuned. Back. Got the uh, frame painted. Just hit it with a little rattle can. A little semi-gloss black. So it's good to go. Did the rotors, taped off the shocks. Taped up the wheel well, that way they wouldn't turn. So we got that. We're gonna get the wheels back on this bad boy. That frame, it's all painted up. Good to go. And I went, out, went on ahead and kind of dusted it all down. I didn't want to get too heavy of a coach. I don't want to overspray all over this truck and wheel, these new wheels. But, looking good so far I'm gonna get I need to get those little shock holders uh, cut off there and then we'll come back to you get a nose around the wheel on we'll see how it looks with the uh, three inch drop blocks in the back I didn't lower the front any thing had a pretty hard rake on it so I'm hoping to level it out probably won't probably will go a little bit lower in the back but I'm good with that I might add a one inch drop spring on the front later that ought to level it out pretty good anyways there we go so far we'll uh We'll get back to it. All right, there it is on the ground. Like I said, this side's got a little bit of lean to it. 
but uh, sitting right. I like it. This side's way up on the front. Figure that out. It looks pretty good. I really hope those chips come in today, man. 72 cross um, for y'all. For those of y'all who know y'all's wheels, you know, these ain't no scenes by any means. They're all, all the scenes are made in China anyways, but parts or whatever, they, they assemble them here in the U.S., but still, I don't really like them too much, but I got a deal on them, so I'll take them. Like I said, this is just an everyday driver, so hey, what do you do? I'm on 13s. All right, so we uh, got the truck nosed in. Got all the parts that you see. These uh, headlights, they're a little faded. The grill is kind of faded. I could paint that, but I wanted to go with like an all chrome grill. The bumper's kind of KO'd right there. KO'd over here. Grill chips. The air dam. It's all right. It was kind of, it's got some scratches underneath on the sides. It was hanging a little bit. Anyways, I'm going to kind of update this. Just, uh, you know, these parts are reasonable. They've been kind of, I've had most of these parts sitting at the house over the last two or three weeks. They've been kind of coming in. The wheels came in earlier this week. Here's what we got. So, we got a new air dam, new bumper, chrome all the way around. Nice, brand new out of the package. And all chrome grill. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the bow tie. See, I might have a billet bow tie laying around somewhere. Stick the factory one back in there, paint it black. And then I'm uh, gonna put these billet inserts in the grill. And then got some new headlights, brand new, and parking lights. So. Parking lights are new, headlights are new, still in the plastic. Get it all put on here, start tearing some of the stuff apart, and uh, see what it looks like when we're done. I might take that bow tie out, paint it black, put another grill. Might look pretty, pretty pimp. All right, so I got the front off, grill, headlights, parking lights, bumper, air dam, it's all off. It ain't too bad on these S10s, so we're good to go. Got the bumper there grill here all the new stuff's over there and in the back of the truck we'll get everything swapped out and uh get it put on here we got the uh front end on looks pretty good all chrome brand new brand new air dam brand new bumper brand new grill bill of grill headlights parking lights got the bow tie out there drying way out there put that on later but turned out pretty good with the chrome Pete came over, helped save the day, and go check the mailbox for the Zenith chips. Hopefully they're in, because it looks like shit without them. And I replaced the brake light, because it had holes in them. Got the S10 done, still waiting on them. the Zenith chips. They didn't come in the mailbox today. Kind of sucks, but anyway. Got to clean up a little bit. New grill, bumper, air dam, headlights, parking lights. Good. Like I said, it's got a little cheap Mako paint job on it. Got a little some dings and dents there, but other than that, man, I like the little truck. Turned out pretty tight. I'm gonna probably do something with this next weekend or the weekend after. It's got an old bed liner. Somebody tried to do their shelves. Clean that up. I gotta spray my cousin's truck. Spray out bed liner. That Raptor liner. There's a the wheels. China lace, but they'll do. Lock and knockoffs. Push some cabs in the stamp. Still, my bow tie is still drying. Painted it black. I'm gonna break it up. There it is. Good little daily. On the inside, need to vacuum it. But it's pretty clean in there. Got a new tent on the windows, new windshield. Over there working on the race truck. You can see him. Now, now I'm done with the little S10 project. I worked on it all day. Got up at, at six o'clock this morning. There's no other things. Went to Rodriguez Tire. They got me hooked up over there. They always uh, know how to mount up some tires. Treat me right, man. Uh, so, anyways, and they were fast. Fast. Got it done quick, man. I was there less than 45 minutes and even had time to kind of. Uh, Sit around and catch up with them. So, anyways, 
Got all the new parts put on the S10. It's done. Hope y'all like this video. Got some more coming up of the race truck. Um, fixing to get back on the red cutlass. It finally got painted. It's been about a year now, but we're going to get back on that. Get the frame assembled. All the chrome put back on it. Uh, got the lift installed in the new edition of the shop now, so it's going to be a lot easier. All right. Y'all, hope you like this video. If there's something you want to see, go ahead and drop a comment. Let me know. All right. If you hadn't hit that subscribe button yet, go ahead and hit it. Hit the little bell right next to it. It'll let you know next time I upload a new video. And you won't miss no action over here. Bobby Hills Outdoors, y'all. Thanks for watching.